emergency. I, I've got a fire in my house. It, 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 uh, there's smoke coming up from the basement. Hurry, hurry. I'll be right there. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Okay, Leon. Okay, everybody is out of the house. The sprinkler system is a proactive device or preactive device that if you have a fire, the residential sprinkler system or any sprinkler system is going to activate a, a water sp a spray over that area and extinguish or put that fire out. Pass off the nozzle. You feel the heat coming at you? Get that alcohol, feed it back in the hole. Feed it back in there. The most important factor for someone to purchase a fire sprinkler system for their home is for life safety. Stay out! Didn't take long. We're going to need a safety crew from the front and a safety crew from the back. That's why we have the need for the smoke detector. So the inhabitants can have the knowledge of smoke in the building and time to get out. And then if they had the second generation of fire protection, the home sprinkler system, the fire could be being put out while we're on our way. At least confine it to the room of where the fire started. We don't question at all going out and, and spending uh, uh, a dollar, a dollar twenty-nine for uh, the carpeting that we're putting on the floor. Why would we want to question that dollar that it's going to cost us, dollar and a quarter that it's going to cost us to provide that level of satisfaction, that level of safety that we get from a residential fire sprinkler system? A residential fire sprinkler system is basically a network of pipes typically concealed either in walls or above a suspended ceiling of some type um, attached to heat sensitive devices that we call sprinkler heads. Open up at a predetermined temperature, one at a time puts water on the fire at a predetermined rate. The sprinkler going off would have saved anybody in the house because at this point the fire would be kept small and when the fire department arrived it can extinguish just the small object rather than having a whole house to extinguish. And the sprinkler still was able to control the, uh, the fire. Second floor attack team, go in and hit the back of the building. We don't have to lose 2,500 homes a day. And we don't have to lose 3,500 people a year and fires. All we got to do is use the technology that's available. You take a look at it. Your choice. There's no other single device in my mind that you could install in your home that will provide as much reliability and as much protection for human life as an automatic fire sprinkler system.